There's one position that I've taken that has raised some controversy. It's, un it's uh, unfortunate because it shouldn't be. It's really common sense. You know, we've been through a history of prohibition uh, back in the 20s where we really fostered and developed a criminal element in our society because we outlawed alcohol. Well, what we did is people lost respect for the law because reasonable people were drinking alcohol and we created a lot of criminals. Now we're doing the same thing with the war on drugs. Keep in mind that marijuana is no different than gin, whiskey, you name it, uh, it is no more debilitating to the individual than those are. And those, of course, are addictive, too. You can become an alcoholic. We've dealt with that problem socially. It's not an admirable problem, but we can do the same thing. So we need to stop the, uh, what we're doing with respect to marijuana. Now, when it, comes to, uh, when it comes to hard drugs, that's a whole different matter. Here, we, what we want to do is we want to legalize the regulation of drugs. This won't uh, stop uh, the criminality of people dealing drugs in the street, but what it will do, it will permit an addict to go to a doctor and to get a prescription for the drug that that person is addicted to. He'll pay a fee and then that addict will be registered uh, into a list of the addicts that we have in this country. Addiction is a public health problem. It is not a criminal problem. And the way you deal with it as a health problem. And so we would then, with knowing who the addicts are, we can begin to help them, proselytize them, try to educate them, try to get them off of their addiction. And that's how we treat it. The way we're treating it now, we're spending 50 to 70 billion dollars with this drug war, destabilizing foreign governments, filling up our prisons. We have more people in prison in the United States than any other country. That's shameful. That's shameful. Because drugs are a public health problem. It is not a criminal problem. We deal with it criminally because we're doing risk. We have the wrong policy. That's what I hope to change. And I would hope that people would reason this out and see what our historic experience has been with alcohol and it need not be a repeat of that and we cannot afford to squander our wealth on programs that do not work not when there are people that need help and that's what the program I'm talking about is to help people get off of addiction not just throw them in jail and forget them